Lord, you tell me all about it. Thank you for your concern, citizen. Rest assured it shall be long. Long live the Mariff. Mox, hit it. Oh, blimey, you really know how to listen to a bloke's problems. I'll give you that. You sure I can't book you for more, uh, uh physical services? I'm a bloody stress volcano right now and I can do with the, uh, with the, uh, relief. You know that's not what Geisha bots are programmed for. Serena, really? I'm your merit. You'd be doing Concordia Republic service. I'd make it worth your while. I'm swimming in Dale money right now. <laughs> The Mariff's interfacing with my Serena? No! I feel so betrayed! And according to my records, the Mariff doesn't have the appropriate paperwork to engage in such activities, which kind of makes my outrage morally justifiable! Awesome! Hey, I'm with you, pal. Word is, he's got another appointment booked with Serena right now. What? Citizens, that was not. That may have sounded like my voice, but I, 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 I've been impersonated by... Someone who sounds like me. I, I, I appreciate you allowing me privacy at this difficult time. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Man, this guy just doesn't give up. This guy's so busted. Without an inter-organic fraternization license, I'm gonna make his life a living hell. Come on, elevator, let's go! Serena, I'm coming, my love! This is more like it. And here we go! To the Mariff! Seriously? You idiot machine? The offices are off! <laughs> right! I'm such a kidder! Up we go! on government property will result in your immediate death. Thank you. These aren't gonna stop us, Huckster! Hey, no, no, too much. Oh, sorry. Please, oh, it's all right. Here I go. I need a pair of jacks. Who needs a hero? Don't understand, did ya? Did you see that? You skipper! Challenge. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> Jack here, the real one. This is kind of fun. Oh, we got it around the wrong way. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not here. I, 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 I left the building. That's what I did. I'm gone. Look. <laughs> Serena, my love, I spear to your side. Officer, get that door open! I don't take orders from civilians. However, as I was already going to do that... We can talk this out, Jackie. I don't really work for Zabalan. Huckster Team Meredith, you are hereby under arrest for violating Elpis Ethical Code 3110, forbidding unlicensed interplay between... Oh my God! You stole my girlfriend, you need back! Open this door! Oh, Serena! Talk about your win-win, that's awesome. Let's move it! Jack, Jackie! <laughs> oh, you should have said you were dead. You should have said so! I traced the signal that took down our systems on Helios. And guess what? It came from here. Your office. Signal? Signal. She made me do it. Where did she come from? And please, lie to me. I really want you to lie to me. I don't know. What are you going to do with me? <laughs> Nothing. I was just messing with you. 
Get the hell out of here. I've been thinking there's a way back to Helios. I surrender. Oh, I was gonna let you live, go, bastard! What is wrong with you? Oh, that was invigorating. Okay, yeah. Where was I? All right, my awesome master plan. Taking the fight to Helios is gonna need an army, so we make one. Head down to Springs, I'll explain on the way. I'm gonna stay here, gonna go through the Marif stuff. We're making a freaking robot army, baby, hell yeah. Shopping list, simple. Some serious combat chassis and top of the line military AI to run them. Word is, Springs is a lady for the AI. Hey, Mox, you know where I can build me some kick-ass robot bodies? Since that giant laser is gonna kill, well, everyone, I know who might be willing to scout around for hardware. Let me talk to them and get back to you. Sounds good. Let's hustle, people. We got a moon to save. What did you think of Jack when you first met him, Will? Man, that laser just keeps on going! Moxie said you're after some military AI. Big saws. But your best bet's a mate of mine, a little ankle biter by the name of Pickle. Lives in the Outlands. He's almost impossible to reach mine, but I can help with that. Take this scrambler. Now then, I'll upload coordinates of an old Dahl garage to your Echo. Get going, I'll explain on the way. Whoa! Someone huh. killed the Merif before I had a chance. <laughs> place on foot, but I can help you out with, ready for it? A stingray. It's old Dahl tech. They're not much to look at, but Moxie tinkered with the design, so now they jump like a skag in heat. Problem is, stingrays aren't easy to get to meat hunts on. So happens that Scrambler, uh, came my way. It's supposed to unlock digestructing at the old Dahl garage I'm sending you to. Once you unlock a stingray there, I'll fix it so all moon zoomies are stingrayed up.
Hertz and left Elpis, they integrated Moxie's improvements into the production model. They deny it though. Plug in the scrambler to that Digistruct machine. Yeah, that's it. Now just order yourself up a Stingray. Need to get somewhere in a hurry? Get your moon zoomy on. Monza! been able to hack their system to copy a fresh plan over so you'll be able to digestruct these anywhere from now on. Now get your backside to see Pickle, though feel free to get a feel for her first, see what she can do. Now you're on a stingray, you can jump that, no worries. Probably. Vault Hunter, this is Colonel Zarpadon of the Lost Legion. Soon Elpis will be rubble. I will be dead from the explosion. along with everyone on Elpis and most of those living on Pandora below. I've seen you fight, and I respect your skill. If you agree to leave now, I will send you an interstellar ship. We will not follow you. Think it over. Pretty good deal. Why didn't you take it? What do you think we were? A bunch of mustache twirling villains? Jack hired us to kill bad guys, get paid, and help people. No different from you. You say you're anything like us, and I'll kill you where you stand. Konnichiwa, everybody. Wanna play another round of Bunkers and Badasses? Not now, Tina. Oh, right. Serious time. My bad. 